going to admit, I have never been big on mini. <laughs> that makes funny sense. Um, and the reason being, I always found them to be a little bit overpriced, a bit gimmicky, and maybe just too image, sort of. And in fact, it's probably all the reasons that fans of Mini love them are for those reasons. Now, BMW Group took over Mini back in the early 2000s and slowly but surely matured somewhat, but I think haven't lost their charm. And I've started to warm to them. And I can confidently say, I mean, I think I was in a previous Mini that I loved. This is the Countryman and well, this would be the Mini that I go for if I'm going to go for one. Now, it's probably because it is bigger than ever. Um, it's also the biggest and most versatile Mini. And traditionalists will probably hate it in a way and hate what's happening to Mini because there's almost nothing Mini, Mini in the small sense, about this car. But in every other way, it is Mini. The fancy tech in here, some of the tech in here has not even reached some of the higher end BMWs, can you believe it? It's gimmicky, but I don't find it to not still feel very premium and very refined and like the high quality materials, it strikes a very good balance and I think many have done a phenomenal job in sort of keeping this playful, but still where an adult can drive it and not feel like they're in a sort of childish entry-level kind of car. Now, like I say, this is bigger than it's ever been and it rivals, you know, things like the Volvo XC40, the Mercedes-Benz GLA, um, the Audi Q3, and of course, it's sibling, the BMW X1, which it shares a platform with. But I think this is bigger than all of them, actually. Um, and that's something to consider when you're in this sort of segment and you're shopping in this segment because I imagine that you're also looking for space and versatility, which this offers an abundance of, actually. The boot is at 450 litres. I've got a car seat in the back. Even the steering wheel now, which is like big and chunky, it just makes it all feel, like I said, not very mini. Let's talk about this infotainment screen, which some people have referred to as a pizza, which they may be not wrong. It's an interesting round disc vibe. Um, it's sort of thinner and more well integrated. It is super duper comprehensive. It's even got driving experiences. So not like driving modes, but you can click onto them and they sort of change the ambient lighting and the sounds and everything. And it's quite fun. Again, it's gimmicky, but I don't hate it. There are a couple of models to choose from. You've got the Countryman C, which is the sort of stock standard, and then you've got the Countryman S, which is this one. It's um, all-wheel drive. Also the JCW, obviously. And then there will be an electric one coming as well. But for now, I'm going to talk about this. So on the engine front, you can get the 1.5 litre in the standard C, but this has got a 2 litre engine in it. It's got 150 kilowatts of power and 280 newton meters of torque. Now. I wouldn't say that you need to stretch to this. It's got obviously more oomph, but that 1.5 liters got 115 kilowatts of power and 250 newton meters of torque and is almost absolutely fine, I would say. It's lovely, obviously, to drive on the open road, but Mini is meant for around town as well. And it is super nippy and sort of super responsive. I'm in love with all the sort of interior here like i said it's very high quality materials and then you've got like this integration here with like this i mean it's brown or tan which is not my vibe but i kind of like how it looks here everything just feels very well put together very bmw very many now for something as premium and as well thought out and as clever really as this car you can expect a premium price tag so you're looking at, this is about 70,000 Rand more than the stock standard C. So this S comes in at 821,000 Rand. I think if you're in this segment, right, you've got some money to play with. You're in the premium market. If you want to stand out, if you want something so different, so fun, yet so mature, so quirky, yet still sort of so sophisticated, there is nothing like the Mini Countryman. There just isn't. None of the other cars in this segment are anything like it. Head, head, 